High Sports Bulletin, a Blue Grapes production. And the third profile that you need to have is what they call a character profile. You see this all the time with the NFL guys, right? Quarterback for the Steelers got suspended for six games. Why? Because he wasn't acting right in public. Okay? Because when I come talk to these people, I'm going to ask them, hey, what kind of kid is that guy? Is he a troublemaker? Is he hanging out with the wrong crowd? Does he influence better? Does he influence people to do good things? Does he do community service? Those are all the things that matter, okay? And I'm gonna tell you another reason coaches get fired. They bring a guy in who is one, unproductive, and got academic problems and behavioral issues. Not only is that kid gonna lose his scholarship, the coach gets fired too. I want to keep my job as a, as a college coach. So if they're going to fire me, it has to be because we weren't good enough and we lost too many games. So do you understand how college coaches look at it? Okay. So if you want to be one of those guys who put themselves in an opportunity, in a position, to be one of the few chosen people, okay, those are the things that you have to consider when you're playing football, when you're out of the classroom, when you're in public, when you're in the classroom, all those things. But this is nothing new. You guys have heard this forever, right? You guys have heard this forever, okay? So, that being said, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about how you go about marketing yourself, okay? The recruiting process. Normally, at the college level, depending on where you're at, if you're at Texas, you're recruiting sophomores. And normally those sophomores are in the state of Texas. Okay? If you're at SC, you might be recruiting sophomores, but those sophomores could play like first year freshmen in college. Alright? Okay? So I guess what I'm saying is this. You're going to be evaluated when you're a sophomore, when you're a junior, when you're a senior. They don't just evaluate you as juniors and seniors anymore. Okay? As you can tell, when you guys pay attention to all these early signs, to all the guys who make early commitments, or telling school that they were where they're going to go. Okay? There was a case in point with the, on ESPN. There was an eighth grader who had committed to playing basketball at one of the major schools. An eighth grader. That's nuts, isn't it? So it doesn't start when you get to be a junior or senior, okay? It starts from the time you show up in high school campus, okay? And I'm just telling you, for you young guys, you've got a lot of time to put your plan together and put your plan in action, okay? Put your plan together and put your plan in action. That means that, hey, you're gonna have to plan everything out so that your key is to go and have success. Your parents, very great support for you, okay? And, and, and a number of you come from different backgrounds, okay? But there's gonna be somebody that you can connect with. Have that somebody help you out. Have that somebody help you find direction when you're doing what you need to do in order to get to the end of the road, which is out of school, out of college, with a degree, okay? So that you can someday, and if you're fortunate enough, you know, the one thing I love about coaches, like I said, a lot of your high school coaches, it's not a, it's not a high paying job. But the reason they do it is because they want to make a difference in determining what happens in their community. And you know how that happens? By them affecting you. By then giving you some things that you can use to become better people, to someday become someday become better community leaders. That's why they do it, because 
Now I'm voting for that $500 paycheck that they have at the end of, if they're lucky, okay? If they're lucky. They do it because they have a passion for the sport of football and they have a passion for the young men that decide to play football. Football is not for everyone, okay? Football is not for everyone. It is a sport that's going to test your mental. It is a sport that's going to test you mentally. It is going to, it's a sport that's going to test you on how well and how focused you stay on track. Just a couple, one more thing to leave you with before I end this. If you go away to college, if you happen to decide that's the route you want to go, or if you want to leave the island of Maui, whether it's to the University of Hawaii on Oahu, whether it's somewhere in California, Washington, wherever it is, stick it out. Stick it out. Okay? Stick it out. Going to college is a family investment. It's not an individual investment. It's a family investment. And it's a family experience. So what they're going to do is support the fact that you decided to go away to college for what they want from you in, ex in exchange for all the time that they're missing with you is the fact that you put in work and that you're coming home with that piece of paper that says, I've accomplished it. I am done. If I never decide to go to school again, I at least have a bachelor's degree. Okay? Because I've seen it. It isn't just on Maui. There's a lot of young men on Oahu when I was on the Big Island. They go away and, and they're on their way back. The, the biggest thing that disturbs me a little bit you don't think that I was homesick when I went away to college? But I had two people on the other side of the phone said, you're not coming home. And if you do, you better bring that piece of paper with you. So before you decide that college is what you want, <coughs> when you do decide it's what you want, go. But make sure you come back with a finished product. OK? Because you want that's That's the exception more than the rule, guys. Okay? Because the rule is, you go in, ah, oh, home sick, I can't move my because I'm home sick. <coughs> okay, well, but now you gotta go get a job. Good luck. In this economy, how about if you come home with a piece of paper that allows you to get other jobs where you can actually make a big difference in what your family's financial situation is? Right? Okay? It's tough. Times are tough. But you know, I've always been told that tough times don't last, but tough people do. So, again, thank you for the opportunity to come before you and to hopefully leave you some words of wisdom. And I hope that you guys take these words. And again, it's from the perspective of the college recruiter that's going to come here and tell you exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, you be the high school trophy winner for the island of Maui, but you still be sitting at home on Maui because you can't get the other stuff done. Back to life, right? And you always want to what? You want to strive to be the 1% of the 1%. If nothing else, I want you to retain that. Strive to be the 1% of the 1%. In everything you do, football field, classroom, community, because you are Maui's future, bottom line, right? You are Maui's future. If you live here, you decide to go to college, believe me, this place will still be here. Barring that we don't have some major, you know, explosion that, you know, destroys the world, it'll still be here. But you can come back at that point and really make a difference for yourself. So, coach, thank you again. Thank you. Good luck.